Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Shaz. We're playing the Long Dark. We're in our cabin. We have eight hours of daylight left. Oh my god, the last time I played this, we got chased in our house by wolves. We've just been trying to get by. I've been playing this game a lot. This game is so addictive and so fun. There's nothing in this cupboard. Wrong game. There's fucking so many things that you can do, and I realized that this playthrough could have been a little more refined, I guess is the word. Uh, I've done a little bit in between episodes. Nothing crazy. I think I've just uh, moved some resources around. Got no food on us. We need to put the crappy water in here still. We need to take some good water out to take with us. We're going to have a busy day today. I uh, have slept to save since last time. We had ten at the last time. Now we're down to eight. I need to drink. But like I said, I've been playing this game. This game is addictive and fun. I'm going to be moving around while I'm talking. I haven't explored any. I've been refraining from doing so just because I wanted to explore everything on here. I should probably take something to eat. Like, oh shit, I don't know. How much, how bad off? Yeah, we need to take something. We're going to eat this box of crackers. Mmm, crackers. Mmm, and per oh, really good quality. And really crunchy. They sound like fucking potato chips. Speaking of potato chips, we have five Pringles. Don't know why those things remind me of Pringles, but they really do. Like I said, I haven't explored much. I am going to today. I found one locale, one tiny little thing, other than what I found in this playthrough, and that's the first thing we're going to do. Also, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a deer out here, and we might take the time to try to thaw the corpse and gather some meat. Any, uh, any bogeys on the radar? Not yet. It looks fairly calm. It feels like negative four, which is completely doable. I see the deer. It is still here. Hopefully the meat hasn't gone bad. We might be able to set up a fire. Did I bring any kind of supplies for a fire? Please, dear God, yes. A little bit, yeah. Oh, we got plenty. So, uh, yeah. We're going to set a fire up. And probably try to harvest this thing by hand. It's going to take a while. We have no knife, no hatchet. And we just can't let this go to waste. There's just just way too much meat here. Hopefully it hasn't gone bad, and this isn't a complete waste of time. If it is, I'm not going to try to reload or anything. We'll just cope with it. Part of surviving. I found one thing. When we're done with this, we're going to follow the railroad tracks and see where they go. And then there's some kind of path leads down to some trees or something. And I think that's a good place to start for the day. Might be nothing down there. Might be something down there. Hopefully we can find a, a fresh kill. Well, hopefully we can see a wolf kill a deer. How about 48 minutes? It looks clean. I just not freaked out. I saw something right about there. I don't know what that is. It's probably part of a tree. It's a nice day today. It's a bit overcast up high. Probably not the greatest for traveling. If we get stuck in a blizzard, we'll just have to cope. Because we have no knife, no hatchet. And I found that a knife is by far the most important tool. Having a knife is just... It's its so amazing. An axe is great. A hatchet, whatever you want to call it. That's great, but... Holy shit, man. When you have a knife and you can actually cut into an animal, you just save so much time and calories and effort. And I hope we find one today. Yeah. Otherwise, we're doing alright. We have food. We have a fishing tackle or two. I think I lost one the last time I played. I might insert me losing said tackle about here. You might be seeing that right now. But right now, I believe we have these two fishing tackles. And from my experience outside of this recording, it, you don't really lose fishing tackles that often. Not as often as it, I seem to the last time I went fishing. I've been, I have like three fishing tackles on the, uh, oh this. I have like three fishing tackle on that other game and have fished cumulatively like 20 hours and it's only lost 10% durability. So I don't know. We lost the ball. Oh, he's coming right towards us too. Why? No wolf. No. Turn and go the other way. Go the other way. We might do to back up a little. Oh my goodness. Why is he coming right towards me? Oh, bullshit. Quick, how long does my fire have? 
Not enough. Uh, wood. Boom. Run away. <laughs> Do I have flares? No. Flares are nice. If you're ballsy, you can do a lot of good with flares. We have none. We have a lantern. And a really angry wolf to cope with. To feel like. Negative two. He's probably going to path right back while we're doing stuff with that deer as well. Oh no, he's just going to fucking stand there. Look at that. Telling his friends there's a toasty deer corpse. And he does have friends. I can hear them. Let's go around this tree. Oh. Well, this is this is doable. And that corpse is thawing. Hopefully whoop I mean we need food. Like more food. If we have to put off exploring for a night. That's completely fine. We could use our time if we don't have a lot left and go fishing and get some more food, even. I'm sure that there is some, there is many different things that are in this game, in this alpha, in the sandbox. Like, this is such a great game. I can't actually recommend it enough. It's really addicting, too. There's just something about it. Is it 50%? It's 60. We're getting there. But in any event, there's, like, we just need more food. It's always nice to have a surplus of food. Cooked deer meat and cooked fish, they last inside of containers for a while. Ugh, for a while, sorry. Sorry, my energy levels are a little bit high today, trying to keep it under control. And just kind of being a little bit patient. Apparently we've been working on this for like two, f it says two hours, but there's no way I went through two hours of fuel. It probably took a while to get here, and to set up, and to make it. And it's almost, almost, uh, thawed enough. 51%? One more? Alright, what can I, there's only six. Requires tool. Oh, there we go. How long would it take to do all six and a half kilograms? Three hours and fifteen minutes. Totally worth it, I'm sure. Alright, uh... We don't have nearly that much fuel, so... We'll just add all of those fucking sticks. And a reclaimed wood. And the reclaimed wood. And we're gonna get cutting. We're gonna go for an hour. Harvest. And hopefully we don't get assaulted by a wolf. This is taking this takes forever without a knife. Which it would. I mean that cannot be an easy task. I wouldn't guess. Especially considering it was also fifty percent frozen from the start. Alright, now we're gonna get into some actual cold weather. And we should be okay. Oh, look at that. Great. Let's go ahead and spend yet another hour. How are we doing? Oh, we're really thirsty, which can easily and quickly be remedied. And... Oh, uh, that meat's not exactly ideal. We'll do what we can with it. If anything bad comes of it, we'll at least know. Was that any better? Where's the point six? No. Not at all. Okay. We have three hours of daylight left. And a wolf right there. And we've completely stripped that uh, deer carcass. Let's pop back in the house. And grab some... Oh my god, is that even going to keep till tonight? I really don't... Uh, is it, I don't want to waste this three hours of daytime. Like if I don't have to. Let's see if I can get up. Is that wolf coming? No. Alright, let's go and fish some. If the meat goes too bad... I don't even know if there is a cutoff. Like, I kind of feel like I vaguely heard that there was like food poisoning, maybe? Is it maybe that a thing? And if it is, I would rather avoid it. I just don't know how, if there is food poisoning, I don't have any idea when you shouldn't use meat. 
And I know when you cook it, it goes back to a hundred. So I'm. Oh my god. I can't see shit, and I'm probably gonna get attacked. For it. Probably. Mm, do we? Yeah, we have. To, I'm gonna persevere. It's might not be the best idea, but we're still going to. I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. I'm pretty fucking sure that we're heading straight towards a fishing hut. I pray that I'm accurate. I think we're heading right towards it. Maybe off a, a little bit, but we should be heading right towards it. Toward it? Towards? I don't know. Uh, Maybe not, actually. There's a rock over there. Well, it should be like right. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, there's one. And the door should be right here on the front. Okay, I did find it. Even in this shit. How are we? We're doing great. I have nothing to make a fire, so we're just going to. Uh, oh, okay. I have newspaper. Roll. I don't know how I missed that. I have no idea. Oh, I forgot we can't actually break ice. We have nothing to break it with. And I ran out here for nothing. That's rough. That is rough. Do I even want to try to make it back now? I could... Uh, I could wait an hour. Oh, this is risky. To wait an hour or to try... We're gonna wait it. We're gonna wait it. Oh, we didn't bring a bedroll. Hmm. We're going. We're gonna have to go back. We can just follow this wall, and that will do. Oh, it's scary shit. Can't see anything. I bet wolves can see through this too. The fog might present a problem, but their visual acuity at night is all is really good compared to a human's. They can see in much less light than a human can. And I'm sure they can see really far in, in the dead of night with nothing but the stars and the moon above. Which is probably why they hunt at night. These fuckers hunt all day long. Morning, noon, and night. It's also worth noting that you can easily find that fishing hut by just following this wall. Because it's really close to it. Which, oh my god, Pringles. Free fucking Pringles. How don't, um, we're taking them. And it's more tender. I mostly care about the Pringles, but we'll take the free tender. Uh, we'll just keep following. We could, mm, we could go around, but we're gonna stay on the lake. I don't know, it just, it feels right. And we might find more Pringles <laughs> if we stay on the lake. Which I am really down for. But so far, so good. Alright, well, let's get back. We don't have anything to break the ice to fish. That's worth noting. So, we have, like, no daylight. It's a shit heap out here. We're gonna cook... We're gonna cook up all that meat. Those wolves always make me just... Pause. They scare me. I'm gonna cook up all this meat and double-check water supply, get some rest, and then we can... Uh, oh, yeah, check this out. I found you can move stuff. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, you just right click it and left click to place. So I moved the guts onto the table so that we aren't heathens. And I moved this uh, deer hide, which is now 8% cured, back here onto the workbench because it just kind of makes sense to me. I don't know. It looks nice too. But we're going to go upstairs and get the stuff to make a fire. And we're going to go ahead and cook up all this meat. And hopefully it's salvageable and tasty. Is that asking too much? Tasty meat? Take some sticks. I hate to use it, but we're going to need a hatchet and to be able to get some firewood at some point. Those reclaimed woods are not going to matter nearly as much long term. The better part of reclaimed wood, actually, is to be able to make snares. But it's what we have, so it's, we're just going to fucking use it. Uh, I'm not going to use accelerant. If we mess up, it's a stick and a cattail and a match. And that's, that's okay. Alright, sweet, first try. We are going to make this meat. Well, not make it, we're going to cook it. 
Some of it's still in white, up to 56. The lowest one, we should probably add some fuel. Add a stick. For no good reason. Add some of this. Another stick. It takes like 20 minutes to cook a kilogram of meat. Hopefully we have, we should have enough wood to maybe. If we have the fire lock, if shit comes to shit and we really want to cook this. I'm not even sure if this is edible meat at this point. I mean, it's 50% through its quality. These are hard times though. And you can't let that deer go to waste. That would be just the worst. I would feel so bad for letting a deer go to waste. When I'm literally starving. Uh, do we have any... No, wrong drawer. It's bottom drawer. Do we have any more? We have sticks. We have the fire log. Do we use the fire log? We're gonna use the sticks. Nature has plenty of sticks. Nature does not have plenty of fire logs. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. <laughs> One more boom. Alright, that should be about enough. We might as well shove a couple sticks and use the embers, but we'll cook what we can cook. Let's keep cooking. It's okay, stomach. I know. Don't worry, we'll eat. We'll eat in the end. Might hit embers. Not two minutes. And we have one stick. I don't think... Mm, we're gonna try anyways. Cook it quick. Will the embers last? Will it be enough? No, probably not. Fuck. No, of course not. So we still have the one uncooked one. Mm, it seems to be normal enough. Should we eat one? These are at 97. 100. 97. 97 also. Let's eat it. Did it taste okay? Any bad? Anything happen? We look, we're doing, that was fine. Alright, let's eat another one. We're really hungry. I, t I fucking can't believe we didn't get the one cooked though. If anything though, we can use that as a decoy. And that can... Oh my goodness. There it is, of course. Do we have any wood other than that? Did I miss anything? I would hate... I don't really want to use newspaper to cook a piece of deer meat. Alright, so we, uh, we'll just keep the other, like, raw piece of meat for a decoy. We should be about full. We're tired, and we're thirsty. Let's drink down some water. We'll probably go through that whole fifth of a liter. Yeah. Sorry for playing in the dark. Resources are scarce. We'll be out of the dark soon. Oh, that's the wrong freaking drawer anyways. Still the wrong drawer. There we go. We have a precious half of a liter of water. And we're going to take the nasty water for when we do make a fire. What fire making utensils do we have? We have a newsprint. And four cattails. We're gonna take this fire log for the just in cases. Alright, I'm gonna have to make my way over here in the dark. Hold on. Uh, where is it at? There's the other beds. It should be around here. Come on. Or, I will just kind of, uh, oh, that's the floor. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Cupboard. We're gonna use this cupboard for food storage for the deer meat. They keep better in here, too. We'll put the raw one in there, just in case. Keep these waters. We have... Oh yeah, let's, let's eat a Pringle. Mmm, crunchy. And it has calories. 150 calories. Which is nothing to scoff at. Let's go ahead and rest for four hours. Let's get some rest. Tomorrow, we're going to go adventuring. We're going to have daylight hours to kill also. We're going to lose a lot of calories sleeping. We'll have to eat again. And we're thirsty. Take a soda. Alright, another five? No, I said I'd never go over four. And I've yet to break that. Four is a long time to just go unchecked. I don't like going unchecked for an hour outside, but sometimes you have to. Dry mouth? Well, we have a sip left. Little sippy cup. Put a nipple on that bottle. Uh bottle, jug, whatever. It's either one, I guess. Let's go for another three. We're probably fully rested up, but 
We're still gonna ask for three more. We'll kill a little bit of the early daylight hours. Alright. Sun should be shining. It is. We still got the lantern out. We can get up to what's under the bed? I thought I saw something. Even this is holding out a little bit. We ate the 46% meat, I think. These are alright. So, how hungry are we? Pretty damn. Let's go ahead and grab up all three of those. Oh, I keep hitting tab. I always do that. We'll eat this. Can we even hold? No. There's no way in hell we can hold 800 more calories. So we'll just eat the cattail stalk instead. Yeah. Top off with Pringles. Fucking, you can even find Pringles in northern Canada. Alright, we still got... We still got a few... Good, good few pounds of meat. We should probably take a soda. Pork and beans? And soda. We should probably take a soda with us. We've got all the fire stuff that we could possibly need. What's holding us down? We have a lot of weight still. 19. We've left all the clothes. We've got... Do, eh. do we have any... I need to ch double check inventory again. I'm sorry. I know I keep going to these fucking drawers. No, there's nothing in there and I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, there is. Antiseptic and antibiotics. Well, that's what we have. Alright. Let's go see exactly how cold it is outside. I'm wagering really fucking. Maybe. Really, really cold. Super cold. Negative nine. It's not as cold. Oh my god. They're just like, they just live out here now. Like, they literally are just camping my spawn point. And that one sees me, and he's really angry. Oh my god. Go away, guy. Just keep barking. Okay. Well, back to bed, I think. Let's keep napping. Oh, we are really thirsty, actually. Holy shit. I did not realize. Well, check down a soda. And it's 250 more calories. Which puts us five from max, which is very desirable. If we have to start, like, the world... Oh, wait, that wouldn't even really boil water. Shit. Well, we have the log, but that'll have to be for hard times. And it's not quite there yet. Three more? Maybe? Yeah, three more hours. Let's get to eight hours left. Actually, we'll stop at nine if we can. No, we'll go to eight. That's fine. It should be fine outside now. We are, once again, really freaking thirsty. Alright, well, we're gonna have to be thirsty. We'll boil water first thing when we make a fire. Hopefully the wolf is gone in those three hours. Hopefully he has not decided to stay out here. There's other there's other places to be, wolf. Might not even be the same one. Oh, it's snowing. It feels like negative four. Which I'm perfectly fine with traveling in. That's not nearly as bad as it could be. So, yeah. On the road again. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get on the railroad tracks. I don't even I don't even know if we're gonna find shit today either, which is kind of for real for fucking real instantly. Fuck off guy. Back door? Back door. Yeah, back door. Oh my goodness. Already too. That bastard. The thirst isn't getting any better. We can't break the ice. <laughs> It's a rough spot. We're going out the front door again, though. I'm gonna give him the old, the old shake. Well, he already gave up the chase. Look at him. Unless that's just another one. There might just be two. Like there might be one right around the corner. Wouldn't that be something? All right. Speed is important as well. Still feel like Nate? Nah, it's even warmer. Alright, let's try to get on to the tracks or across them from this side. We'll veer off from that wolf as much as we can. And then we'll crouch down when we need to. Already? Oh. Oh, I think he saw a deer. That might be the order of the day, actually. Oh, there's also another deer right here. Look at there. <laughs> Sorry, I, kept, I did not expect expect that to be a deer. The downside is we have no flares to scare him off with. 
And we have no knife to actually harm him. To get him to leave. Is this deer frozen? Yeah, it is. And we have no fire. Could certainly use... We have sticks now, though. See? Mother Nature. She provides. Uh, that's enough to boil water. Cedar limb. See? Need a hatchet. And I'm pretty sure that wolf just took down yet another deer. Which is worth noting. We could always come back to that. The hides and the guts, especially. We, we need more of that. Can't do anything with the big branch. Or a cedar limb. Or whatever the hell it is. He must have took that deer down. Somewhere down that slope. I hope. That'll keep him out of line of sight of me for a moment. We'll pick up more sticks. Oh my god, there's a lot of sticks. We should actually take a second and pick all these up. It could be very handy. Eight minutes of fire each. That adds up when you take a shit ton. Maybe. I'm just a little out of range. Grab this guy. Another lonely friend. I've probably missed at least a couple, but I'm trying to make good time, too. So far, so good. I think I might have mentioned it. Like I have, I've been playing the shit out of this game. I really love it. It's incredibly fun, too. The only thing that I happened upon that I haven't happened upon in this playthrough is at the end of this uh, set of tracks, and it's right down there. Other than that, though, like I saw what might be a little path that we're going to try to take. And then, who knows? Hopefully it leads somewhere. I don't care what it leads to. It's just as long as it's something. I'm just not very familiar with this area, though. So, sorry for getting just uh, a little more quiet and talkative. Oh, no. I see you. I see you. I have nothing to scare you off with or fight you with. And you're heading the direction I want to be heading. Kind of. That's the path I was talking about. It seems like a cutoff in between the rocks and it leads down. So I figure we can follow that. We'll follow that wall on the left. Always follow the left wall, right? That's old video game. Tips number, like what? 521 or something? Always follow the left wall. And always let the rogue open treasure chests. I'm seasoned. We're flying solo though, no rogue in this party. But yeah, it looks like a tunnel. Probably probably led to some kind of I guess logging camp because there's freaking tons of trees on those uh train cars. Oh, that wolf. How are we doing? We're thirsty, again. Did we take the other cola? No. We have nasty water, and that's it. And hopefully we'll find something here. I'm more concerned with the trip after, though. Tunnel collapse. And a tree fell, just to spite the train. Like, the tunnel collapsed on it, and then a tree fell and knocked this one over. Just because sometimes Mother Nature doesn't give... Uh, it actually does not give two shits. So far, nothing. Nothing but a train. I see something, and I think I see a knife. If that's a knife, I will be overjoyed. They can howl all they want. Let's go around this way first. Is there anything over here? We've almost explored this whole side, so we might as well finish it first, right? Nothing at all? Okay. Sorry for being so quiet. The commentary has stopped for a second, apparently. But we made it all the way in, at least. 
and still haven't seen it. We saw the one item at a distance, but it's actually remarkably barren over here. Holy shit. If that is a knife, though, that might be one of the... Oh, are we warming? No. I thought we were warming up for a second. I had to double take. This might be one of the biggest victories yet. It's a pry bar. It's something to break fishing holes with. And I am down with Hope that. Nobody needs this anymore. I don't think they're going to. Well, that wasn't a crazy big haul by any means. But we did find another tool. And hopefully it's in good shape. Pry bar. Good shape. Where are you at? Am I... You are in remarkably good shape. Well, let's search along the side here. In the snow and the grass and shit. Somebody might have dropped something. There can be sneaky placed items in this game. It's really nice. But if people brought these items out, like others, just survivors or people out in these kind of areas and shit, there's a number of things that would cause items to be in weird places. Last stands, before people died from whatever. All kinds of shit. But I don't see anything else. And I know there's a wolf nearby. We're going to go down that path in a moment. We'll try not to veer too far away from the left-hand wall. Really? I can't believe that was all there was. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful by every every means possible, but I was expecting something. Alright, let's get up and make some moves. I want that to be firewood, and it's not. And it just... It's killing me. Oh, there's a fucking wolf again. Shit. Crouch back down. We're still warm enough. Is it getting colder? No, it's getting warmer still. It's negative one. Which is remarkably manageable. Uh, there it is. I was gonna say, I was just about to say I lost that wolf somehow, but no. In fact, he's right there in plain sight. And I see a stick. I see a couple sticks. I'm not really going for that far one, but I'll definitely pick this guy up. How thirsty are we? We're getting really thirsty. Alright. There's a lot of cheese down here. And they're really dark. I have no idea what kind of wood that would be. I have no idea. I see, hopefully we're far enough from the wolf. Is that... I don't know what that is. I think it's a branch, maybe? Yeah, it's a branch. I see another stick. Ah, uh, not quite worth getting. Negative one. Super duper thirsty. I know I check that a lot. Probably a good idea, I hope. I'm just listening for ominous sounds. So far, so good. It's just the jangle of all the stuff I'm carrying. Oh my goodness. A cliff. Whew. I see... Either a big stick or a branch that breaks into a couple sticks. And so far, nothing. At least we haven't met any adverse weather conditions. Like, it's snowing, but, I mean, come on, look around. Like, that's uh, a reasonable guess. Like, that's something that clearly happens here a lot. It's not too... Oh, I don't really want to break that. We have no hatchet. I mean, it doesn't take long, but... I don't want to stand out here with no no tools breaking wood. We can find sticks for now. Is there anything over the ridge? No. Is that something? I see a deer. No, that's just a mountain. Alright, we're going to keep following the left wall then.
or at least keep an eye on it. I mean, that's really the objective. The more that we can see... Oh, I see a building. I also see uh, another branch, I'm guessing. Yeah. I just want those to be really big sticks for some reason. Uh, we're going to veer off. We're going to go down here. I want to see... I see another deer. Do I have a... Mm, that's tempting, but no. Oh, I did not want that either. We use the toppled tree as a way marker, and it basically points white side, like big white wide area, straight to the uh, mountain we were, or cliff, or whatever you want to call that that we were following. There's another deer, or the same one, and it just gave up running. I don't blame it. Oh my God, house! Oh, is that another building way back there? Or is it just like a really flat kind of rock? I don't know. Oh shit, is this a barn? Oh, and a deer cord. Oh, and a feather. Deer carcass. Uh oh, I can crouch under here. And there's nothing. Well, there's potentially another hide. We'd have to thaw it out a bit. We might have enough sticks to do that. Is that all that's in there? Just a deer carcass? I'm pretty sure that's the sound of a deer running. Well, that is apparently all that's here. We... Uh, do we want to do the... How much? Five hours? I'm debating. Kind of do need some water all the same. Meat might be salvageable. We can hole up in that house for the night, too. We're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. We need these resources. Hopefully this corpse isn't super freaking old. Oh my god, you can actually make the fire on the deer? Uh, that's... No, that breaks immersion. That's no good. It's just, just ridiculous you can. We do have the fire log. I forgot. And it's two hour duration. If shit comes to shit, we're going to use that. Uh, Yeah, start fire. Do it. First try would be nice. We have the materials and stuff to try a couple times if we have to. We definitely need some of the resources from this deer, though. Including its hide and the guts. And we'll make sure to put them down as soon as we get to that house. I think we are going to spend the night there for sure. Oh, I failed. Okay, we're going to try that again. Uh, wood match, cattail head, stick. Start fire. That's the amazing trio. Wood, not wood, I'm sorry. Paper matches also work well. So, in priorities, I'm going to definitely take the hide, and then I'm going to take the guts. And then I'm going to take as much meat as I can get before losing daylight. And if a crazy blizzard comes, pretty sure I've got a sense of where that house is. It's outside and to the right a little bit. And then it's like on a cliff. <laughs> or on a hill. Alright, let's get the sticks on. We have 18 of. Get us an hour of fire. It's 90% frozen. Gotta weight this thing down to... Shit, what is it, 50? Oh, let's hunker down. Oh my god, dear, you scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, as I was about to say, before the, I'm, oh my god, that scared me. I'm going to put myself between these poles. We're just going to hunker down. Relax for a moment. Keep an eye on the fire. Warm up. We're already warm. It's nice. Feels like nine. Snow's coming in. It's majestic. Ah, the wilderness. Oh, shit. Before I forget, I... Water. Yeah, exactly, guy. I don't know how I forgot. I've only been daydreaming for a second. We still have 81% on the deer. We need to purify that water we have. I don't know how I was just going to let that deer thaw and then go to work and not actually drink anything. I don't know. That'll also make it thaw faster. So there you go. Maximizing time. And now we have water. Go ahead and drink that real quick. It'll probably chug down, like, the whole damn liter. No. Chug down two-thirds of that liter. And the corpse is getting there, so we'll go ahead and melt up half a liter of snow. We're going to get the most use out of this fire as we can. We used two sets of tinder and match like, lighting materials. 60%. We could also cook this venison that we have on us. Which will take 20 minutes, though. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and boil this. 
This shouldn't take but ten minutes, five minutes, apparently. Tops. Ten, five. Looks like five. Yeah. And that deer should be about fifty-five. Fifty-four. We'll go ahead and throw some more sticks in the fire. I hear a wolf, which kind of unnerves me. Of course, it's just about thawed. Then we'll dig in. We're gonna get the hide first, then guts. We have four hours of daylight left. We have a fire going for an hour and a minute. Let's let it get to 49. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna take... Wait, well, there's only a kilogram of meat, and it's probably not the greatest. We might take it for a decoy, though. It's gonna take two hours. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. We're gonna harvest the one at a time. We're gonna do guts first. I said hide first, but apparently I changed my mind. Fire log? Should we throw some... Let's throw the sticks. Ah, oh, I should probably kept a stick. But that, that, well, we're gonna... We'll be just fine. We have a fire log. Yeah, we're gonna go for the hide next. We got a gut. We're gonna take the hide off of this deer. And... Another gut. We have time. What's the temperature? Well, we're in a fire. Yeah, take this gut. I don't know if I should take the meat. We could... It might not be very tasty, but it's only a kilogram. It only takes half an hour. We're going to do it. Still have two hours of daylight. Alright, how good is that meat? Actually, it's better than the meat we had, so there you go. Our fire is burned out. Can you do anything with that? Oh, that's that's cool. You can see where your campfires were. Right, we're going to stand up and move. If we have to make a run for it, we'll make a run for it. I see another deer. Oh, what a pretty, what a, what a pretty sunset! There you go. I had to take a, I had to take a screenshot of that. I'll upload it on um, Tumblr, probably. Speaking so of which, I do interact with my social medias quite a bit every day. So feel free to get a hold of me. Reddit's great. Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter. Oh shit, can't get over that. Okay. Yeah. Leave me any comments you want. Like, subscribe. I try to post very regularly. I do live streams too. And hopefully, hopefully they have Wi-Fi here. Is there anything on the outside? What is this place? I didn't even look. It's a nice little house. Nothing. Window's really bright for some reason. All of them are. Alright, let's get in here. Trapper's Homestead. Oh my god! Holy shit, look at this place. Look how fucking lit up it is. It looks great in here. Ah, oh, a fucking knife. Ah, oh, we did it. Is it in good condition? It is in very good condition. Oh my god. That's the best thing. And more tea. To replace our old tea. There's shit all over the place in here. Holy shit. And a safe. Is that another can opener? Oh my god, there's stuff everywhere. I like... I need... I know I need a hatchet. That's still... That's still a rarity. Oh my goodness. There's just so much stuff around here. And firewood. And containers. I don't even know where to start. I mean, it's night time, pretty much. I'm in no immediate hurry. It'll give us something to do to chip away some time. We're gonna drink down the last little bit of this water. And... Should we... We're gonna go ahead and eat this, too. Mmm, tasty venison. Oh, I can't believe we found a knife. It's so good. I want a jerry can. What's in this? 2.6 eighters. Two, oh, wow. 2.6 eighters. 2.68 liters of kerosene. I'm too excited. There's so much stuff in this house. Just on first examination. Oh, ah, an MRE. And a table that I need a hatchet for. Anything? Oh, and a flare! Uh, that will come in handy. Some replacement matches. More wood. Ah, oh, my god. Look at this place. It's fucking great. We should move in here. <laughs> we can actually see stuff in here, too. Oh, my god. Oh, my god.